programming environment with VEX IQ. So let's dive right in. In our next slide, we will see the scope of this lesson. Robotics with VEX IQ is a tool that eases STEM learning through fun and accessible approach. This brings imaginations to life. This lesson covers the basics of robotics with VEX IQ and will focus on its programming in a virtual environment, making it suitable for those with little or no knowledge of robotics and programming. In our next slide, we will see the learning objectives for this lesson. In this lesson, we will be learning about programming with VEX IQ. The objectives for this lesson covers the following. 1. Describing VEX IQ robot. 2. Identifying the parts of a VEX IQ robot. 3. Explaining the sensor of a VEX IQ robot. 4. Identifying the VEX code programming interface. In our next slide, we will see the key skills for this lesson. The key skills you will also learn from this lesson are some of the relevant 21st century skills, which will help prepare you for the future workplace. They are computational thinking, logical reasoning, and problem solving. I'm very excited about programming in VEX IQ. I'm sure you are too, so let's get right in. In our next slide, we will be introduced to robotics with VEX IQ. The VEX IQ is a graphical robot with built-in sensors, electronics, and mechanical component, designed in 3D form, which can be programmed and run using a simulator. The simulator allows the robot to be visualized, and it looks like a physical robot. In our next slide, we will see the components of the virtual robot. Here are the components of the virtual robot. 1. The pen. 2. The electromagnet. 3. The down eye. 4. The 50 mm diameter wheel. 5. The right bumper sensor. 6. The front eye distance sensor. 7. The left bumper sensor. 8. Built-in gyro plus location sensor. In our next slide, we will see the definition of terms. A sensor is used for collecting and sending information about the robot surrounding to the brain. It works like the sense organ of the human body, sending information to the brain. Actuators are the movable part of the robot, which rotates as a result of the information received from the brain. Computational ability is basically the part of the brain, usually a microprocessor or microcontroller, which makes input from sensor and output commands to the actuators. In our next slide, we will see the brain of the VEX IQ. The control unit of the robot is where instructions, programs are uploaded to the device. For example, the motors and the sensor can be connected to the brain through the 12 identical ports located on each side. The port helps to relay functional commands to any device connected to the brain of the VEX IQ. In our next slide, we will take a look at the VEX IQ motors. This device is the moving part of the VEX IQ. It can be used to transfer motion by connecting the VEX IQ motors to other parts of the VEX IQ through shafts. It is also useful in transporting the robot from one point to another when connected to the wheels of the VEX IQ. In our next slide, we will see the VEX IQ sensors. Sensors are electronic devices that allow the VEX IQ to communicate with the physical environment. These devices help the robot to navigate around a given environment autonomously with ease. Autonomous in robotics means the ability of a robot to move on its own without being controlled externally. In our next slide, we will take a look at each of VEX IQ sensors. The gyro sensor is used to measure turn rate and calculate direction for robot navigation. In our next slide, we will look at the color sensor. The color sensor is a type of sensor used to detect the color of an object. In our next slide, we will look at the touch LED sensor.
The touch LED is just like the human skin, which reacts when it experiences touch. The touch LED displays green, blue, and red color, and it is used to enable or disable the robot's movement when touched. In our next slide, we'll look at the ultrasonic sensor. The ultrasonic sensor acts like the human eyes. It reacts when it sees an object at a preset distance. It is used in a VEX IQ platform to detect an obstacle placed in front of the robot at a distance. The ultrasonic sensor works with sound waves. In our next slide, we'll look at the bumper sensor. The bumper switch sensor acts like the human skin. It reacts when it experiences the sense of touch. It is used in the VEX IQ platform to detect a wall or an obstacle by contact. In our next slide, we will see the VEX VR programming environment. Using any of your devices, tablet or laptop, open a browser and type the web address vr.vex.com. Now hit the enter key. Section 1. This is the toolbar and this is the area that allows you to perform basic tasks like saving, tutorials, new files and accessing all of Vexcode VR additional functionality through the various menus. Section 2. This is the command list category and this portion of the interface gives you access to all the graphical command blocks available in Vescode VR. Section 3. This is the programming area and it is the part of the interface where you can write your programming solutions. Section 4. These are the graphical command blocks and they are used as part of your programming solution by clicking on the command and dragging it into the programming area. Section 5. This is the zoom option and they allow the user to have better viewing experience. Section 6. This is the hide button. It helps to hide or show the graphical command blocks when necessary. In our next slide, we'll take a quick quiz. Here's a quick quiz for you. 1. What is VEST code? 2. Which of the VEST code programming tool will help program a VEST robot in a virtual environment? 3. List the basic parts of the VEST IQ robot. We have come to the end of this lesson. Here's a recap of all we learned in this lesson. We have learned the following. 1. Describing VEST IQ robot. 2. Identifying the part of a VEST IQ robot. 3. Explaining the sensor of a VEX IQ robot. 4. Identifying the VEX code programming interface. Thank you.